One exceeds all others in being the sworn enemy of lying, pomposity, smugness, and groupthink. And that one is not me, but Tucker Carlson. Still, I can reason soundly, think clearly, and judge accurately with regard to what I see in relation to religion and politics. This is the Sophie Scholl monologue, and today I want to talk about the rule of the left. The rule of the left is not the rule of law. That's what we are to be. In fact, C-SPAN did a whole segment on the rule of law. Do you think we have that today? And I would say no, because what we are seeing is the rule of the left. If we had the rule of law, we would see it being consistent with and fundamental to our constitutional republic. The rule of the left does whatever it can to destroy our republic, our constitutional republic, through undermining the rule of law through the rule of the left. You see, those on the left, legally, not morally or justly, but legally prosecute what they say is hate speech, but suppress the right to free speech. Their speech police are out in droves, grooming you, conditioning you to adopt their language, the language they make up and define. And if you don't use it, they'll try to cancel you. Oh, you cannot have a cancel culture without the left. Let's get a little more specific. Who said, show me the man and I'll show you the crime. Show me the man and I'll show you the crime. That was the secret police chief of Joseph Stalin. Stalinist tactics are being used today. Who's the man? Trump. Target him? Find a crime for him. Think about this statement. Therein is the most dangerous power of the prosecutor, that he will pick people that he thinks he should get rather than pick cases that need not be prosecuted. No, I should, let me repeat that. Therein is the most dangerous power of the prosecutor, that he will pick people that he thinks he should get rather than pick cases that need to be prosecuted. That was said by a guy who was born in my hometown, Frewsburg, New York. That person was Robert H. Jackson. Not when he was a Supreme Court justice, but when he was U.S. Attorney General. He said that on April 1st, 1940. April 1st, 1940. Now we see April Fools through the rule of the left. Alvin Bragg. Does he sound more like Robert H. Jackson? Or does he sound more like the secret police chief of Joseph Stalin? Show me the man, and I'll show you the crime. This is how the rule of the left works. They corrupt that which was set up to be just. Greg Jarrett is correct. There is no justice system anymore. There is only a legal system, and it's corrupt. We need to know the difference between moral and legal, justice and legality, and what you see on the rule of left on the rule of the left is the undermining, the erosion of the rule of law, which is essential for us to maintain. 
what our constitutional republic stands for and protects, which is freedom. Well, unlike Tony Kornheiser of Pardon the Interruption, I cannot promise you that I'll do better the next time. <laughs>